Hey folks, and welcome again to the Morris Summer 2022 Adventures Day 40. Uh, stayed right here in Buny. Didn't didn't go out of city limits. It, well, maybe if the, if the park is out of city limits. <laughs> but, uh, and it would kind of after everything that's been going on for the last two weeks, traveling, getting up, doing different things, hiking, everything else, I told the wife last night, I said, Chrissy, I said, don't, don't set the alarm, Mama. We'll just get up when we got up, or when we get up. And it was late. <laughs> we woke up about four this morning, both of us. Uh, a little bit chilly. Turned the heater on, went back to sleep. And it was after nine before before I got up anyway. Chrissy got up a little bit earlier, but it was after nine before I got up. Uh, went into town. Went to a couple of places that we were looking forward to going to. One was closed. Um, and I, I guess they're just they're closed on Wednesdays. Okay. It wasn't like they were closed out of business, or we had got there late. They closed on Wednesday. The other place uh, where we had really been looking forward to uh, having some good coffee and whatnot, totally disappointed. Um, and some of their uh, pastries were not in my ballpark. Okay, they were they were in Mama's. She loved hers. She got a scone, and they had other things that were. Supposed to be good, but uh, the apple cinnamon Danish that they were supposed to have, they were sold out, and so, and the uh, the coffee was colored water. Sorry, folks, you just didn't cut it. Uh, but we'll try again. Um, you know, Chrissy went back and said, you know, hey, what is? I'm not going to mention what it was, okay? And they told her it was a, a medium blend and we're used to dark okay so uh, I say it was colored water you couldn't uh, you couldn't really tell the coffee and uh, we have a couple of folks back home and one on the western side that we just left that would have been highly highly disappointed and upset uh, because it wasn't coffee but you know that's okay maybe not because they have lattes and cappuccinos and whatever else they they pollute their coffee anyway, so maybe they would have enjoyed it. But I didn't. And I don't really think Chrissy enjoyed her coffee, but she drank it anyway. But we might give them another chance. We'll just order a dark roast instead of whatever it was. Or we may try someplace else. Um, but this town, since the two years ago that we were here... Um, a lot of places were, of course, were closed because of COVID. You know, it's, it's, they're going through a revitalization. There are a lot of new shops that are open now that weren't even in existence then. Uh, some places that were in existence are closed down and somebody else has moved in. Uh, you know, there's a, a store I went in today that I'm going to visit again before I leave here. Uh, they called the Trailhead, you know, and it's a, it's a, a hiking and, and bicycling store, um, and then next to it, it was uh, was it Art artisan garden or something. Anyway, it was it was uh, foo foo type sandwiches. <laughs> that's what that's the best way I can call it. You know, they were the uh, uh, I, I would use another phrase, but I won't. <laughs> but uh, in a way, it was uh, you know. Do what? I would like it. Oh, she said she would have liked it, but, you know, uh, give me a, a beef sandwich, like a hamburger, which we did go to. Uh, it was advertised on one of my websites that uh, I, I frequent, and not my website, but uh, a website that I subscribe to called Out There in Colorado. They highly recommended it. It was one of the best uh, hamburgers in the Mountain State. It was called uh, Buena viking so uh shout out to them good job anyway having said all that we were about halfway finished with our hamburger and it started raining so we came back to the rv instead of sightseeing which we were planning on doing today 
And of course, it gave Chrissy then a chance to stop and do laundry instead of go, 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 and the laundry piled up because she's been going hard. she would be going with me. Sitting in the Jeep while I hike around and uh, uh, taking her away from her schedule and what she had planned on doing. And so today she had a chance to do laundry and got it all caught up. So that's a good thing. Tomorrow, uh, I may go on a hike tomorrow. Uh, just depends. Uh, there's, there's a couple of them that uh, look interesting. Of course, I got we're getting close to the weekend already because we kind of wasted today. Well, not really wasted because we got the laundry done, but it was raining, so we couldn't do a whole lot. But there are some other things that we need to take care of. And the reason that we're here is for the 50th anniversary uh, reunion. So, you know, that's coming up. Uh, you know. So I've got basically uh, to do some things tomorrow. Excuse me. I don't know why I did that. Hey, my name is Jenny Allen, and I am the leader of If Gathering. And today I we're don't looking know what I did here, folks. Hold on 11. a second. I am the good shepherd. Oh. Anyway, uh, uh, it's a good day. It really was. I mean, just, uh, you know, and, and for the, where I just was figuring it out before I got online here. The, the Mama, fix that, please. Life. Stop it. Do whatever. I don't know. I Thank you. <clears throat> for the last two weeks, we have been either just under or right at 6,200 feet for the last two weeks. So we've gotten acclimated uh, basically uh, breathing wise without doing any strenuous exercises to about 6,000 feet. Well, here in Buny, we're almost, we're, we're 50 feet shy of 8,000 feet. So, you know, we're a couple thousand feet higher. So now just doing the the little things, you know, it, it gets us winded. Like it was when I was hiking over at Cedar Ridge. Mama. You know, but doing all of that, excuse me, folks, I'm trying to try to, I don't think I lost anything. I may have lost one of them, but that's okay. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. You know, so anything I do out here is going to be probably about 11,000 feet, which was the high that I did over at Cedar Edge. But I'm not going to try to overdo it. Uh, the hikes that I have picked are moderate or easy. I'm not uh, not trying to do the extreme or the hard, you know, the difficult. Uh, I'm going to stick with the easy. And the, I mean, I, I realize that, you know, I've got a lot of medical factors that are affecting me, but also the age and then coming from 23 feet to 8,000 feet. And then hiking at 11,000 feet, uh, you know, hey, I may not be the brightest crayon in the box, but, you know, I do have some, uh, some sense, okay? But uh, speaking of sense, you know, <laughs> here's a good one. And today when I posted this, this morning, uh, yesterday in our travels, and oh, by the way, in our travels, I didn't post any pictures yesterday. The phone was getting hot. We have poor internet service here, so any pictures from yesterday I wasn't posted, I will post those today and, and hopefully get them all done for you um, so you'll have a chance to to see our travels from Cedar Ridge over here to Buena Vista. And, you know, like I say, there wasn't really uh, any, any today. Although this afternoon we did have a double rainbow, so I'll probably post that one too, just because. But having said that, let me give you some good news from the good news. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. This is John 10, 11. So this was Christ talking. This is what he was saying. You know, the uh, international version, uh, you know, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. You know, I am the good shepherd. This is the Amplified I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his own life for the sheep. And then here's the message. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd 
puts the sheep before himself, sacrifices himself if necessary. A hired man is not really a shepherd. A shepherd means nothing. The sheep mean nothing to him. He sees a wolf come and runs for it, leaving the sheep to be ravaged and scattered by the wolf. He's only in it for the money. The sheep don't matter to him. A lot of times, folks, that's uh, that's pretty solid. You know, Christ growing up, sitting in the synagogue, listening to the rabbis, knew his purpose on earth. And this is why he says he's the shepherd. Because he knew that everyone he met was one of his sheep from an early age on up until he died on the cross you know and that's what it says you know this is uh, another reason why uh, in Hebrew history or Israeli history Hebrew history David is admired so much because he was the youngest he was the outcast of his brothers he was the shepherd go take care of the, sm the, the, the smelly sheep and stay downwind from us. We don't want to be bothered with you. But he killed bear. He killed wolf. He killed lion. Protecting the sheep. He was ready to give his life up for his father's flock. And that's very important. Because that's, that's a, if, if, if you pardon the, the expression, that's a foreshadowing of Christ. He came here prepared to give his life for his father's flock for his father's sheep he suffered all the torment and torture and pain and humiliation and degradery and everything that they could do to him and crucified him on the cross as a common criminal one of the most painful ways and agonizing ways to die in that that time period was on the cross so after they had beat him and everything they had done to him then they put him on the cross because he was prepared to give his life for the sheep and folks if you do not have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ if you do not believe you are one of his sheep you're wrong because you are you're just a lost sheep. And let me show you the way that you can become one of the found sheep. And that's by this simple prayer. Just repeat after me. Heavenly Father, forgive me for my sins. For I am a sinner. I repent for what I've done. Cleanse me with Christ's blood that was shed on the cross for me. That I may be a found sheep that I may be called a worthy child of you me that is so unworthy of the gift of your son on the cross and the blood that was shed for my salvation forgive me from my sins and cleanse me with Christ's blood help me and guide me send the Holy Spirit to show me what to be reading in your word and interpret what you have for me each and every day and as I pray Lord hear my cry to be a better person to be a follower of Christ to be a believer in Christ and to be worthy of the gift of your son that died for me forgive me for my sins I pray in Jesus name amen and folks by doing that you become one of the found sheep not the lost sheep but the found sheep and you are a child of God through Christ's blood. Through Christ's blood, we are grafted into, the, into, into God's family. And we can boldly go and say, Father, Heavenly Father, Lord, I petition you on this, 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 and this, because God sent His Son to die for you and for me. Folks, tomorrow I hope to do some hiking to have some pictures. Um, tonight I'm going to try to picture, post some pictures from yesterday's four plus hour trip <laughs> uh, we had over an hour delay through construction through Blue Mesa Canyon which trust me 
that road definitely needs to be repaired. Then it, it looks like from the construction that they're doing, they're widening the road, which means blasting rock away from the mountain and everything else. So massive project. Over an hour delay in the travel over here, but that's okay. We're here. We're safe. A uh, little excitement going over Monarch Pass, but that's all right. We're in Muni, and God willing, I'll come to you tomorrow with some uh, hiking uh, pictures. Good night now. Be blessed.